All right, bring it to America. Don't spread it to anyone. Don't spread it to anyone. And it will certainly be cured. Now, what do you think? Are you, are you scared? Totally. I'm panicked. I'm totally <laughs> terrified. Um, and I, I, I love what you're saying about technology, that we are a country that's well suited to handle it that way. But we also have a government that seems like it's not doing anything very well these days. And you know that they're going to take over all this Ebola fighting, and they do everything poorly, more or less. Camille, you know what kind of fighting I want to see here? I want to yeah. see pharmaceutical companies fighting each other, trying to be the first ones to come up, not not only with a vaccine, but a cure for Ebola. I think you have to bring it to the country and let technology and capitalism thrive. Am I wrong? I share your optimism in the market. I do. I, I am somewhat skeptical of, uh, of African leaders who say, oh, there's nothing to see here. Don't worry about anything. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of those guys are notoriously corrupt. And they do have a really terrible situation on their hands because they do not have the medical infrastructure that we do in this country. I have to believe that in the United States, we can deal with one guy who gets it, who is contaminated, isolate him and treat him yeah. effectively. They haven't been able to do that in Nigeria. That's not to say that this well, is worse than malaria. Camille, but this it is was still the, it was the governor of the state of Nigeria who spoke, and he said, in essence, that they had 19 cases and they isolated all right. of them. Right. Of yeah. course, he puts the best face on it. Is that but what it is? Of course, there's also independent re uh, reporting saying that Nigeria has uh, been able to control it. Most important thing here is that this was predicted. They've got oil money, though. They, they yes, run, right. run this much better than, than some of their neighbors. Yeah. This was predicted. There's a, a journal called the PLOS Currents Outbreaks that said numerical models say that we'll probably get less than 10, probably one or two people this month in this country, the month of September, mm -hmm. probably, but there will almost uh, uh, assuredly not be more than 10 cases in any rich country because rich countries know how to clean up after ourselves and have better <laughs> sanity. No, I mean, no, that's... that's but they, they, they isolate yeah, people. We've yeah. got IV, and we've also got people who are willing to sign releases so they can get experimental medication, which will probably work. But yeah. maybe, maybe we shouldn't do cuddle parties in the, in the meantime. That's <laughs> how you get it, though. We know how to get it. for yourself, you Hemingway. Do, we do have a sense of how it's communicated uh, at this point. It's, it's through bodily fluids, but you actually so I can't have to cough on you show you symptoms. It? You actually okay. have to show the symptoms. Okay. Okay. So just me being contaminated with Ebola, which I totally don't have, I can assure you, do you want to tell is not us going to right infect now, what do everyone you have? on the set. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you, you're, you're kind of. I don't know. Yeah. Is that, <laughs> can I infect you with that? Yeah, yeah. I'll check WebMD. <laughs> but I'm I'm pretty sure you can't.